Good to go? Mm -hmm. Test, 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 one, two, one, two. How you doing? Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, you have not already done so, consider subscribing, especially, especially if you love sneakers because we upload a lot of sneaker videos, buckets, define a lot. Almost every single day. Almost every single day slash every week, but we are gonna get back to the more daily videos. Buckets, I feel like I gotta throw that disclaimer out there. I also wanna mention this hoodie that I am currently wearing. It is the Un civilized ghost rider hoodie buckets who is behind the camera and myself we have a clothing brand uncivilized and this is our latest creation made in the usa pre-distressed graphic carbon black limited quantities available on the website right now we will put a link in the description of this video for your convenience buckets what else you can hit a thumbs up you want to help the channel continue to grow it lets us know what kind of content you want to see etc etc thank you in advance and with that said i think it's time to dive into some sneakers a perfect swan dive no splash at all let's do it three two one bang bang this is the women's air jordan one high reverse laney These released recently and retail was 180 bucks. I grabbed this pair from Kicks R For Us, a local resale shop down here in the Tampa area. Shouts to them, appreciate them looking out as always. Now this is actually a pair, a colorway, that we've been getting a lot of messages about, people wanting to see a review, and so here they are. Here it is, I should say. Technically, the colorway is Game Royal and Varsity Maze, but they have been dubbed the Reverse Laney. Some of you may remember the Laney Jordan 1s from back in 2012, 2013. It was somewhere in that time frame. This is essentially that same colorway. It's just flipped with the yellow and blue. On this pair, you see the yellow is on the toe box. Also on the mid panels here and around the ankle as well. And then you see the blue leather wrapping around the front of the sneaker here. Me. Oh, me. Running along the eye stays and on the back of the sneaker as well as the Nike swoosh. Now the one thing that I noticed as soon as I opened up the box, as soon as I broke them out, well, two things actually. Number one, the colorway pops really, really nicely. The yellow and blue are both really vibrant. Second, the quality feels awesome. The leather, it's just, it's nice and lovely. Buckets, what's the adjective I wanna, I wanna use? Supple. Sure. It's, uh, I don't totally know what that means, supple? Plush. Plush. It's very baby koala bear with cocoa butter. It's soft, it's good leather. It feels premium is the moral of the story. A few more details to talk about. You've got this Carolina blue hang tag with the red Nike Air on both sides. You got yellow laces. There is also an extra set of blue laces, red on black Nike Air tongue tag. And the tongue is that standard Jordan 1 nylon type material black wings logo on the ankle and you've got the white midsole as you can see with the bright blue outsole just to kind of cap things off it's a really nice colorway in my opinion those of you not familiar with these laney colors with the blue and yellow they are inspired by michael jordan's high school laney high school where jordan infamously got cut from the varsity team as a sophomore, he had to play JV. 
buckets from there, the rest is history. The legend is born. The legend was born at Laney High School. And so we've seen these Laney colors before. We've seen Jordan brand use them. There were the Jordan 5s, you got the Laney 14s, and there were a few others as well. Point being, it is a colorway that we've seen before. Now they did throw a baby blue hang tag into the mix. You've also got the red and black Nike Air branding on the tongue. That does kind of sort of throw it off a little bit in my opinion, just because that's very contrasting to this colorway. But I don't know buckets, do you think that's part of the story? Because obviously he went from Laney High School to UNC with the baby blue. And then in the NBA, of course, he played for the Chicago Bulls, red and black. So little hints, little storytelling homages. Yeah, it could be. But it does, you do agree, it does kind of go against the Laney colorway in and of itself. Yeah, I don't mind the tongue tag at all. I think that's okay. kind of a classic. That's always like, okay, that's the classic. Okay. The hang tag is kind of like, I don't really get it. What's it doing here? Yeah. You know, it's that guy at the party just hanging out, and you're like, what, what is this guy doing over here? Yeah, what are you doing? Hey, so I says, so I says to the guy, hey, you doing? Either way, I do think it is a good, solid colorway. You know, we've seen the Jordan 1 hype. It's kind of subsided a little bit. Jordan retro hype in general. We've talked about that a lot. It has cooled off a smidgen or two. You know, I think if these released a couple years ago, people would be a lot more excited about them. But if you dig them, all the better because they are easier for you to grab. I've actually seen some sizes going for a little bit under retail, which is crazy because again, just a couple years ago, I think the resale value on these would be substantial. When I say substantial buckets, like these released a couple years ago, they're probably going for 300 bucks. Yeah, probably. Something like that. And so things have cooled off. All that said, hype, no hype. I am a Jordan 1 fan. They'll always have a place in my heart. It's a very wearable sneaker. What am I going to give these? Final verdict. Hmm. I will give these a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, I like the colorway. I don't think that this is a mandatory pair, but it is a Jordan 1. It is a very vibrant colorway, and I do like the quality. Quality feels nice. Buckets. Scale of 1 to 10, I know you're going to be lower than me because that's just how you get down. No, that's not how I get down. Scale of 1 to 10. 7 and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, I like them. Holy. I, all right. Holy bleep. Yeah, we don't curse. We don't curse. No cursing on the channel. Damn. Was not expecting that. I like them. All right, so so give me your spiel. As you know, I love the blue and yellow colorway. You do? Yep. One of my favorites. Great colorway. And it's not seen that much on sneakers. So for that reason, and the quality's good. So my whole thing with that, we've seen this colorway, the fives, the 14. You see it sometimes. Sometimes. And you see it a lot kind of in Jordans, but there's so many Jordans. Fair. You know? Fair point. That quality is nice. You touch that leather. You know, so that that suppleness. Yeah. It got it real gin. No, that's not what real mean. The colorway real mean. Colorway real gin. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about the Jordan 1? How do you feel about Jordan brand in general? Jordan retros in general? Whatever your thoughts, feelings, emotions are, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything to add? Nope. Any other surprises for us? Not only so. Nothing. I mean, yeah, no more surprises. Okay. I'm doing my thing here, kid. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I said to the guy. Read the room, kid. Adios. Baby, tell me the